Well, New York Steve suggests I walk over the land head from here, right from the restaurant. There's this land head over to Cuddly Beach. And once I get over there, uh, look for the Spanish Palace uh, Cafe restaurant. And uh, that's where they are. That's where they hang out, the heavy castaways of Goa. <laughs> <laughs> who prefer and can survive in Gokarna. Huh? Well, uh, as we chat, we discover that we're both in the same hotel. Uh, in the room right next to each other? <laughs> Funny, isn't it? Most mellow evenings stroll through the bazaar with Steve. Oh, yeah. Uh, Steve parts the veil on ancient sacred Gorkana. I mean, it was as if it was all in black and white on my own, just trying to figure it out right now on the spot. And then suddenly it becomes color. Everything is flooded in this gorgeous color through the eyes of my compassionate guide. Oh, we'll take an almond a tea here. Just 10 cents, huh? Uh, coffee over there. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, you want to go to Hompi from here? Go over to Pi Travels. Uh, which internet cafe offers what speed for how much, uh, how many minutes, where to place an international phone call? Hmm? Oh, there's where the bus station is. Uh, hmm. Uh, oh, oh, you know, it's for old hippies here in Gokana. Oh, yeah. Well, back at the Kokarna Hotel, I mean, we're right next door. Uh, I'll look around Steve's bachelor pad. Two twin-size beds with space in between. A pile of crumpled clothes, but clean on one bed. <sighs> Ceiling fan, western style bathroom, hot shower, uh, balmy balcony, candles, uh, matchbox. Uh, uh, <laughs> I can only say so much. Uh, well, Steve comes off like a brilliant master uh, hedonist like Henry Miller. Gone mad in the tropics along the Spice Coast. Yeah. Like a fox, huh? Steve says, I don't want the air conditioning. That, like, saves him half the rent right there. Uh, gets his room rate down to $127 a month. Without that air conditioning. Well, you actually got to open your windows. <laughs> Yeah. Throw a mosquito net, you know. I mean, it's been done before. Okay, even me, huh? Uh, Steve, uh, he's another PT, perpetual traveler like Charles. No fixed abode, doesn't want one. Mm -hmm. Gorkarna, about two month slice of his 12 month yearly calendar, he spends here. He's so familiar with it, he knows all the shopkeepers. Uh, you know, he scored me a little pipe, you know, to use to get stoned. If I could ever. Shh. Oh, yeah. Then he's off to uh, Southeast Asia, Thailand. Now he's got Thai friends, girlfriends, proprietors of guest houses. Uh, whew, yeah. And uh, Steve is spending his life wisely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Inspiring, man. I thank him for his sort of Sanskrit magical mystery tour of Golkarna and feeling blessed by my angel of travel to give me that soft landing in Goa. I fall into the luxury. My bed in the next room. Yeah. <laughs> well, this was like jackpot first time, first interview. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Gokarna, uh, the whole thing becomes crystal clear. Uh, the, the great mystery is solved, man, like it's in the bag. The demystifying maneuver. You just pull a trap door on a burned out, weathered hippie in Goa. I want a spiritual life with Hindus. And, um, yeah, they go under a trap door. It's a metaphor, but. 
You get it. They go under a trap door and they come out in Garkana. Mm -hmm. As we did uh, mixed with the natives as we did in the 1960s. Uh, Steve's so friendly with everybody. They're all like earth people out there for him. Yeah. We partnered with authentic Zadus, gurus, and we smoked hashish pipes with authentic yogis. Learned a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, look, in Ukarna, you can uh, uh, pr uh, profoundly meditate in Vedantic uh, wisdom and the reality of nature, your soul. No limit to the depths. And nobody much notices. <laughs> Gokarn is renowned for its Sanskrit Academy. Okay, three beaches. Let's talk about the nature freaks like me. What do we love? Okay, Cuddly Beach, Half Moon, and Paradise Beaches. Splendid. Look, I'm a pure lover of nature. I take refuge in this n necklace of white sandy beaches. Like Goa was. In the golden age, yeah. You must hike or take a small boat taxi to the Golkarna castaway beaches where you are free to live for $2 a night in a fast bungalow shelter where you can smoke a joint with like not worry who's looking at you over your shoulder. Yeah, you want to trip on some acid, play the guitar, build a bonfire on a beach. It's full moon. Let's party. Freaks from all over the world. We're the original Earth People tribe, you know. Mm -hmm. This remoteness of these beaches separate the hip world travelers from the mass trash tourism scene, uh, especially on Paradise Beach, the furthest of the beach. Yeah. Hmm. Living in Gokarna for a few years of my life every year. Thanks for your life example, Steve. Uh, well, the next morning, okay, got the whole <laughs> excitement in my head. I wake up refreshed, invigorated, uh, clean my camera with my orange uh, Zadu sarong, clean cotton sarong. I love the little Sanskrit characters. Uh, yeah, I, w I wish to lay out a tapestry of Gokarna with portal photography, teleport people uh, to what I'm seeing right now. I'm, I'm on an impressionistic photo shoot. Well, I start by just simply stepping out on my balcony. Photograph all those palm trees and old Indian homes. <laughs> yeah. 